Hello and welcome back to the very next episode of Starting Your Own Zoo with Zoo Tycoon. This is Diane here with Magic Pixel. So let us get started. As you can see in our zoo, we currently have our little area here by the entrance with our wild horse and our Thompson's gazelle and plain zebra coexisting. Over here we have our giant tortoise and in this area we have our Bengal Tigers with our White Bengal Tigers. And this area needs a bit of amping up as well. Pumping up actually. So to start with we're just going to come here and we're going to take these snack machines and drink machines away. And we are going to replace it with a... Um, a fountain. So let's quickly look. Here we go. Let's purchase a fountain. We'll just make it a little bit more interesting when the people come in. But as you can see, we do need to move a couple of these guys because they're in our way. So just that guy and that guy. Let's see. There we go. Now it will fit nicely. Now if you look here, these guys will look a little bit happier that they have the nice fountain to look at. I don't want to buy a souvenir, but let's actually get rid of that. So let's take that away, yes, and take one of the benches away. Just to clear up this area, but more so that they can walk around a little easier. Right there, you'll see they're a bit happier when they come in now. Okay, there we go. And in this area over here, we're going to put a restaurant. So let's move these guys out the way. Just so that when they come here, they have a nice restaurant to come to. There are a lot of guys to move away here. So let's quickly move. There are so many guests. Okay, so let's... Get them all out the way. I think we're going to need to move a lot more than this. We might bring in quite a big restaurant. I'm thinking of maybe the prairie dog. Always looks really cool to have that one. So let's see if I've moved enough guys here. Here we go. Let's see. Prairie dog cafe. Ah, there's still too many people in the way. Okay, so let's move these guys out the way. Come on, guys. Okay, I think just these few and then theoretically there will be enough space. Ah, I keep moving this guy in the wrong place. There we go. And this lady, I think it's a lady. Okay, there we go. Yay, and there's enough space. Okay, so I think guests will like that a little bit more. And then over here, we are going to create a concrete pass. Round about there. Let's make the pass about three. Maybe let's make it four wide. Okay. Gives us a nice area to work with. And maybe we'll put a few items here just to create a bit of interest. A ring toss maybe, uh, drinks and let's see, a hot dog. Let's do the hot dogs. I think that'll work. And maybe one or two swings over here. Two will be good and then let's get some chairs, some benches. Well, a picnic table, okay. Some picnic tables along here. A bench, it's always nice, especially like they get tired and just want to kind of chill out for a minute. So there we go and we'll put, let's turn this right around and put it along here. So then we have enough picnic tables and some trash cans. Okay, then we are going to create a nice big exhibit over here 
for our Bigfoot. Because who doesn't like Bigfoot? We're going to actually come dinosaur digs and get one of these reinforced concrete glass exhibits. Here we go. Let's make it nice and big. And come from, let's say, right around here. Let's make it quite a nice size. And then the entrance can be there. And we are going to call this Bigfoot. Okay. We actually need to check out our zones as well. We'll do that in a minute. We'll, I'm not going to worry about zones right now. Maybe I should. Let's go and look at exhibits. Okay, exhibit four. Oh no, I didn't mark that very well, did I? Okay, well let's put your um, Bengal Tigers and this will be zone 3. Zone 3 and then Bigfoot will be zone 4. So let's just quickly zone that off. Just so we don't get stuck or confused as to what we're doing. Okay. Now let us get Bigfoot. They are under the Zoo Typhoon one. Let's just come down here. Bigfoot. There we go. There's Bigfoot. Okay, let's get two males and one male. I think that'll work. And I like the, um, the rock cave. So let's come over to research and untick everything else here. Just quickly untick. And then you see animal shelters is left. So we want the, oh, there we go. The rock cave is right there. So by the time we finished working with the actual exhibit, that will be ready. So let's get a new zookeeper. There we go. And move him here so that it doesn't take him too long to get you. Okay. So what do you guys like? Your suitability rating is 42, so we need to up that. We need more foliage, too much grass, too much dirt, not enough greystone, not enough coniferous forest terrain. You prefer an exhibit with more cliffs or hills, happier with rocks, not enough fresh water, and not enough shelters. Okay, so let us start with cliffs here, just to make it nice for these guys kind of want to keep them happy oh they don't look very happy here we go let's bring it down here a little maybe bring it up okay I think they like that okay I think the cliffs is sufficient for them so let us get some grey stone some grey stone put it in this area maybe that way the actual guests can see their grey stone and a little fresh water and we'll put the fresh water right there I don't think they need too much fresh water let's check um, yeah I think that's sufficient and now let's get the coniferous there it is make it a little bit smaller and let's zoom in a little here okay one bigger here we go Put it around this area so that it's quite nice for them. There. I think we can do quite a bit of this. Oh, there we go. The rock cave is now available for them. Check, they look pretty happy now. Oh, so cool. Okay, we want to get rid of the dirt. And over here, we want to get rid of this a little bit. And make sure it's really neat for them. So that they... Oh, really really happy okay there we go put more floor here see you guys are still quite happy okay let's see how you're looking suitability is 66 okay too much grass not enough coniferous not enough grey stone ah okay let's do a bit more here i think it's because i took that bit of grey stone out right put some grey stone here okay more rocks and obviously they're going to need a bit of foliage so let us come and look what foliage do they like here 
Let's try this. Looks like they quite like that. Okay, let's give them a lot of what they like. Keep them happy. There we go. Let's dig in that. Let us try the, the fir tree. That looks really neat. And when the people come and look, they're going to see this really cool tree. Okay, let's put quite a few of them. I think they'll be happy with a lot, a lot of foliage. Okay, some spruce tree. Let's put that right there by the entrance. Make sure it's spread out so that they have different trees in every area so that they don't get bored with the same tree. <laughs> Okay, we can try the lodge pole pine. Let's see, that looks cool. Okay, they're really digging this. Wow, okay, let's give you a lot of that. And the wall chain conifer tree. Okay, you like that as well? That's good. I'm going to give you a ton of these guys. Okay, they're looking quite content. Let's give them some rocks. There's a medium. Let's put it where the guests can see as well. Because I think the guests will like to see a lot of the rocks. Okay, and bring another rock there. Maybe the medium one over there. What's... Ooh, 83. Okay, let's see. Not enough shelters. Okay, let us get you the shelter. Before we continue too far. Okay, there's the rock cave. Let's turn it this way so that the guys can at least get in nicely. Maybe we do it like that. And the guests can maybe see them, I think. Okay, suitability 83, so let's go and get a few more rocks. Let's get the smaller rocks just to keep them kind of happy. We don't want them to get unhappy and then not have enough rocks. And then we go and put them between the trees so they look pretty cool. Bring another one right there. Okay, they like the rocks quite a lot. We give them a lot, a lot of happiness. 85, we want to get it to at least 86. At least. Then we know they're pretty content and we can leave them. Okay, it's still 85, so let's work a little bit more on the rocks. Okay, there are one more rocks. Let's see if we can bring a little foliage. Yes, they're happy with a bit more foliage. Okay. It is 86, but let's see if we can throw in a few more trees. I think we need a few more of these because they look really funky between the others. Okay, I think that's quite enough. They're on 86, so they are pretty content. Okay, and let's see how our guests are doing. Our zoo rating is 83, and we currently have 261 guests. And our Prairie Dog Cafe is doing much better than our Rainforest Restaurant. Wow, I suppose more people are in this area. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I think we'll leave it at that. We've got our Bigfoot now and we've got our other guy. So we've got quite a, a good array of animals. We've got our Bigfoot, our Bengal tigers, our tortoise, here's our savannah animals and our wild horses. So we'll continue with bringing in a few more different animals in the next series. So until then, thank you for watching guys and goodbye.